I was a big fan of Pop Smoke, all right? Mm -hmm. Shot, dead, XXX, shot, dead, Young Dolph. Mm -hmm. A few Dolph. years ago, one of the biggest guys in the game when it comes to hip hop and money was Nipsey Hussle. Okay, so this is a continual thing. This is a continual thing. When I was a kid in the late 90s, nobody's bigger than Tupac and Biggie. Mm -hmm. yeah, are you East Coast or you West Coast? You West Coast, I was East Coast, Miami, all right? And then the nicest guy in hip hop, Run DMC, their DJ, um, Jam Master J, shot and killed. So it's it's like I feel like this is a question that is well warranted, and I feel like you guys are completely capable of answering this question. But this doesn't happen in other genres. Like we live in Miami. I go to Ultra every year. Mm -hmm. You know, Tiesto and uh, Cascade. Cascade aren't catching beef. Like that ain't a thing. Like in the in the um, reggaeton world, there's no beef in that. Pop, Justin Bieber and Justin Timberlake aren't catching beef. Like. You know, even in country music, and you talk about when you talk about Second Amendment, you know, yeah. Second, I'm a two-way guy. Like that is country music. I got my 12 gauge, I got my shotgun, but like Trace Atkins ain't shooting nobody. Yeah. So, what the hell is going on here? Why does this continue to happen? But most importantly, what can be done about it? Stevie, why don't you go first? That's a lot to unpack there, man. First of all, it's like monetized man you know the record labels take out insurance policies on artists now because you know you have a high chance of getting your life taken away being a part of this genre of music now wow didn't even know that they take yeah. out insurance policies yeah. on their, on their own investment yeah. of course um wow. and then it's, it's the dehumanization of, of, of black men black on black crime it's like it's glorified it's praised you know it's sexy in some people's eyes it's sexy to to be dangerous to have a target on your back you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. Social media, um, men are a lot, a lot more emotional now. So you put guns in emotional people's hands, they're likely to pull the trigger that much quick, quicker. You know what I'm saying? There's no fighting, no, no, none of this rat beef anymore. And there was no, it was no, there was never no fist on fist fighting at all to, uh, to begin with, man. But it's just a lot of emotional men, younger men, impressionable minds, and it's glorified in hip hop music. And you know, it's just an equation for a disaster. Yeah. I think I have a problem with the whole black on black crime rhetoric. Like, I honestly feel that we just saw somebody get put in jail for life for the Parkland shooting mm -hmm. as well, right? And what was he, white? Uh, mm -hmm. So I feel like it's crimes happen with those who you're in proximity with. So when you... <clears throat> say, you know, when you, you go into the narrative of, like, black-on-black -black crime, it's just, for me, like, there's white... Nobody ever talks about white-on-white -white crime. Nobody ever talks about Latino crime. Like, it's just black-on-black -black crime. I, Why is that? I get you. It is proximity, though. It's two things happening at once, right? Um, black folks in poverty-stricken areas, we... It, we're engaged in the most criminal activity when, we, when we're in these settings, right? It's, it's class, class based, racial based. We're all in these groups, all these in these proximities together, man. So they, they run hand in hand. But when we are in these settings, black people kill the most four times more than anybody, white, Hispanic, Asian, any of that. It's just, it's not like black across the board in America, but when we're in these pockets. Where are those numbers coming from? I can pull the, the phone out for you and show you the, the statistics, but, you know, we're, we're responsible for the most deadly crimes, most shootings, most stabbings, most murders, black people within these poverty-stricken areas. It's just, they just, they both of those run hand in hand, and, and it ties directly into hip-hop music because it's talked about in the music. So you're pretty much brainwashing children, impressionable minds, young black men to engage in this behavior as they grow up. You don't hear about this stuff in... I understand, but where's the... Okay, you don't hear about it in country music or pop music because that's not the reality of the artists who are telling their story. You hear about, oh, I cried and, you know, when my boyfriend cheated on yeah. me or whatever it is that the trauma that you know, the stories of, of these artists are, but when you talk about hip hop, I feel like these are just, you know, you see Kevin Lyles like doing interviews for this very thing right now. Um, for, first of all, there's, a, there's a, a mixture between storytelling of like what's actually happening and people speaking on their experiences, but then there's also, well, you know, I guess what you're referring to, which is like the glorification mm -hmm. of said lifestyles, et cetera, which then comes with fabrication. And that's then there's a whole argument going on about like, you know, when people can tell the truth, can tell the difference between 
an artist that's telling the truth or an artist that's fabricating things and when courts can use that in yeah. certain cases, et cetera. So it's like a lot to unpack, but I feel like, um, I don't know, like what, what do you want people to, to talk about? I'm not this saying is their that. Reality. I'm not saying that they should talk about anything. He asked, you know, what's causing it, and mm -hmm. if you're going to try to find a point of departure, you know, to to focus on it's it comes from that the reality. You know what I'm saying? And it's we can like focus on the reality and do do things to you know fix these certain pockets of areas to fix life for these people. But at the end, they are talking about the, the truth, and mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, like fabrication, reality at the really doesn't matter because all of it ends up being it's perpetuated yeah, it all turns well, into, hey, let me, it turns let me give you some context here i don't know the other genres or other communities a big problem in the black community is that when you see people succeed they try to take you down but where you know does that come from I where does that I have jealousy no idea where come that comes from? from man like we are our own worst enemy real shit like there's there's none of this you know bringing us up together getting us all you know this is what to i reach, will to reach say these higher heights man but like you no know, takeoff is probably one of the reasons why his life is no longer here. But some, some hating shit outside of the, like the gang related type of stuff. But a lot of hating yeah. in the black community, the hip hop community, where you see people out here winning, you know, flossing, whatever yep. the fuck. That's why you don't wear that shit out there because you gonna, you got haters mm -hmm. and black. The black community are the number one people to be doing that. Brother, shit. I'm so glad that you're the one saying this because I think that's something we all recognize. But if it came from a white guy I like me, yeah. you'd be like, oh, Adam's yeah, racist. Yeah, yeah, I get it's it. like, come on, bro. Yeah. Like. It's, but it is a real thing. It's a real thing. And and and, and is this something that you've experienced? Because you've done well for yourself. Yeah. You're successful. Yeah. But Do I, people hate on you because like black from, guys? From, from afar, but yeah. like my circle is cool. But you know, I can see it in, in other friends that I have, other successful people, and then the stuff you see on TV or movies or whatever. You know what I'm saying? JFK you can see that, was assassinated. You can see that. Like people been hating on people. Since Julius Caesar. Yeah, but Jules, absolutely. But right. you got to add context yeah. everything, man. You know what I'm saying? They're, that's an exception. You, if you compare exactly. the amount of hatred exactly. that, that other communities hate on their people compared to how much black people do it, it's... It's, it's a lot higher. I think that's... I, Jules, you have to admit, that is a... I appreciate what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, you know, MLK was murdered. JFK right. was murdered. Like, these are famous figures. Mm -hmm. And that's a whole other conversation that if you're a disruptor, whether you're JFK or Bobby Kennedy or Lincoln or any of these guys, you're gonna have and like, these are like high profile. High profile. You know you but I'm talking about just general people. You know, that's the, there's exceptions and there's rules. And and you're saying uh, this is these are your words. It's definitely the rule with with you know success mm -hmm. within a black community. Well, men specifically. I don't know about the females, but mm -hmm. men absolutely. That's why you don't go in the hood or go go home with all your stuff out. Man, you're gonna find leeches and yeah. haters trying to take advantage so, of you. I don't I don't know how that presents itself in other communities, but it definitely does in the Final thought real quick. So I do a